Welcome back to the channel. Today's royal headline. The Queen's concerns over Prince Harry's overexposure laid bare before Megxit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from their royal roles last year, sending shockwaves through Britain and the rest of the world. Meghan and Harry cited their mental health and the pressures of royal life as reasons for leaving the firm, an event which is often referred to as Megxit. The couple moved from Frogmore Cottage, their royal residence in Windsor, to a huge mansion in Montecito, California. Since up in sticks across the Atlantic, the pair have also pursued a string of media ventures as they seek to carve out new sources of income since their split from the royal family. Harry announced his latest project last month as he revealed he would publish a memoir in late 2022. Despite reports claiming the two are enjoying life in California, Many fans of the couple are saddened by their relocation and decision to step down as senior members of the royal family. Harry used to be the most popular royal after the Queen, and his wedding to the former Suits actress in 2018 became the most watched television event of the year. However, an Earth report suggests the monarch was perfectly aware of the risks involved in overexposing her grandson. According to a throwback report by The Telegraph, when Prince Harry represented the Queen at the Olympic closing ceremony in 2012, there was excitable talk among public relations men that the royal family had made a conscious decision to deploy him more prominently to reach out to younger generations. This was not the case though. The report read, The Queen is nothing if not an insightful boss of the firm, and she seemed only too well aware before Prince Harry's eventful trip to Las Vegas that too much exposure for him, in any sense of the word, would not necessarily be prudent. When asked if Prince Harry would have taken on a more prominent role in order to give the royal family a bit more street cred among the young, a Buckingham Palace spokesman said to the publication, no, not at all. The spokesman added, the royal family has the ability to transcend the generations, as the Queen and the Prince of Wales demonstrate daily in their work. In relation to the Olympic closing ceremony, owing to others' commitments and the neat fact that Prince Harry had met the mayor of Rio, the next host city recently, he ended up being the most senior member of the family present. The spokesman conceded that the Olympic closing ceremony was a more informal occasion than the opening which the Queen had attended, but stressed that Prince Harry had himself been keen to participate in the event. Last month, the Duke of Sussex announced he will share mistakes and lessons learned during his life in a memoir due to be published next year. As he disclosed the deal with publishers Penguin Random House, Prince Harry said he would reflect the highs and lows and be accurate and wholly truthful. The Duke said in a statement, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born, but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I am deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far, and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.